526 may be one step closer to completion tonight. Charleston County Council voted for the third and final time to pass a local law binding them to pay for their end of this project. But the road ahead is long and not everyone is convinced the ordinance was a move in the right direction. News to Sophia Arizoza explains. Charleston County Council has finally sealed the deal. They passed an ordinance five to two, binding them to pay the shortfall or up to $150 million for the I-526 extension. It's exciting, well, long overdue project. So here is what happens next. Council Chairman Victor Rawl says the project now goes to the State Infrastructure Bank. The SIB will vote on whether to give $420 million to the project. Rawl explains what happens if funding is approved. And then we would go out for the bids on the project and we would find real numbers as to what it would cost and make decisions with the bank and the Department of Highways and Public Transportation on whether to build it in two sections or one section or bid the entire project or not. But county council is getting pushback on the ordinance. State Senator Sandy Sen of Charleston says the ordinance doesn't uphold promises the county made. She wants to know who's going to pay for the project. City and county council all stood in front of the SIB and they all promised that they were going to leave and come back in March to indicate their commitment to the project and that they would identify a funding source. And now she says it's more likely that the state infrastructure bank to back out of giving the $420 million the county needs if they want to complete the project. They're putting this out because they want you to think, they want the public to think, oh, this isn't our fault, it's the SIB's fault or it's Senator Leatherman's fault. That is baloney. County council did not do what they were supposed to do. The contract between the county and the state infrastructure bank does not mandate the county to prove a source of funding, only that they'll provide the money. County leaders are scheduled to meet with the bank about the project on March 14th. Reporting in studio, Sophia Zoza, News 2.